Hello everyone, it is me, Daft, from Daft Punk. You probably know me from the band, Daft Punk. I don't usually do these types of videos, and by these types of videos, I mean videos where I'm on camera. I just, I don't. The most you ever see is my little phalanges over here. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is, <sighs> it's an update video, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to make it as bearable as possible because nobody likes update videos. I come to you today to tell you that I have not uploaded in a few weeks now, which everybody knows that. Everybody's seen the upload schedule at this point. It's not great, it's been a few weeks, but I'm here to tell you that there's a reason for that. Uh, and the reason is that I'm working on bigger things. Wink, wink. There was a part of me that wanted to just do my usual thing where I kind of ghost you and don't say anything, you know? Uh, which, I mean, is not great. It's not exactly what someone should be doing. And so I felt better uh, actually talking to you and I feel like the hands are a little impersonal sometimes. I don't step in front of the camera a lot if you haven't noticed, which you definitely have if you watch my videos. So let this be an apology. And I'm sorry, as it were. Let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory. So, the whole idea behind this year was I really wanted to see if I could do the YouTuber thing. And by YouTuber thing, I mean like uploading on a regular schedule, you know? And I think I did well enough for a while there. And you know what? I love it. I love the fact that I could put out a video once a week, and I still love doing that, but I got to a point where I realized that uh, while I was definitely proud of the videos I was making, they weren't... <sighs> I didn't have time to do things I would have liked to do. And it's taught me a lot, you know? It's taught me that there are certain things I have to let go. Uh, whereas usually I could take like a month to edit a joke that's dumb and lasts for one second. It's nice to have that perspective where I can know now that uh, this has to be done on a deadline and to get it out regardless, you know. And it's been a great learning experience for that and I really like it and I like the stress, honestly. It's stressful, but it's a healthy stress and I love it. I feed off of it, you know. Healthy stress uh, is good for me. I'm a person that works well under stress, I would say. But at the same time, I needed a bit of breathing room. And recently, I went on a vacation and other things happened, and it was just the perfect time to take a little break. So no, uh, I'm not gone, and I would very much like to get back into the swing of things, and I intend to, but I'm gonna kick it off with something special. This next draw talk coming out is gonna be long. Uh, it's going to be somewhere in the range of 40, 50 minutes. I wanted it to be something along the lines of like the Draw Talk episode 29, I think it was, the one with uh, MLK Jr. and all that. I like those ones. I like the not quite feature length, but like hour long special ones. They make me, uh, they make me happy. There's something I enjoy doing. Uh, there's something that I can go back to and thoroughly look at and, uh, get a lot out of, I guess, personally, because. At the end of the day, as much as I am doing this for you guys, I'm also kind of doing it for myself. I'm kind of greedy in that way. Um, which I guess kind of brings us to our next topic. Look, I've, I've had some things I've been considering for a while. Some changes I've considered making. Uh, and things that I'm going to go through with on this channel. One thing in particular is, while I do enjoy all of the art that I make on here, I I feel like I've been doing very, very generic art, uh, which isn't accurate. Uh, it's not a good thing to say, but I feel like the stuff I've been putting out has not been very true to myself. Um, the things that I like to make in art, the things I like to do, I haven't expressed much. Uh, you've seen it in the sketchbook tour videos where I'll cover things up, and usually those are just character designs, you know? Um, there's a lot of things I want to get out there, but I just feel like it's never been the right time, 
I have this idea in my head that I feel like I can only get it out when it's ready, you know? And like, that's fine. Everybody's got projects like that. But, um, this one... This one, I... I never really... I never show it to anyone. And I never really work on solidifying it. All that I ever do is, um... Doodle. And write down small notes, and that's kind of the extent of it. And that's not something I want to do. Something like the How to Draw Machines video, where it was just like... An experiment in making like a soundscape, that's... that's more what I want to do. That's more the stuff that I enjoy. Um... I'm a... I'm a world builder. It's... it's where my creativity lies mostly. Everything I do, I kind of do for the sake of... Wanting to craft a narrative, you know? I mean, I think you see it in the channel intros and outros. Uh, I, I like to try to give you guys a feel for what I've felt, you know? Uh, those are there to illustrate what I was feeling at the time that I was creating this thing, the headspace I was in, and places I've gone, you know? I like, I like going to weird hotels in the middle of Colorado and kind of giving you that dreamlike feeling of you know, exploring them, or driving through the desert on a long car ride home, uh, driving through the snow when you live in the desert and you don't really see the snow, you know? Things like that. Um, and that's, that's where I get most of my enjoyment. And while I do enjoy all my videos I've put out, I think that there's definitely been a part of me that's holding back. And I don't feel like it's been very true to... I don't feel like it's been very honest with myself, or with you guys. So that's something I wanted to work on, for sure. That being said, uh, I've got a few projects down the pipeline that I wanted to work on. And I think next time I draw something, I'm going to let loose a little bit more. I'm gonna do something that's a little more true to... Not just the in-between projects, but the main projects. And for the longest time, I just haven't been sure how to express that without feeling like, uh, my voice is falling off into the distance and... What is that expression? Falling on deaf ears? Is that what it is? Yeah, a ringing out silent note. Falling on deaf ears. I, I don't want it to feel like it's falling on deaf ears, you know? I just want to... I want input on it, I guess, and I've never asked anyone for input on the stuff that I make, so that's gonna be a little bit weird and something to get used to, but I'm enjoying it. I think the biggest fear is that once it's out there, I can't bring it back. It'll be out there. Forever. And it's a bit of an irrational fear, but it's one that I think is grounded in reality as well. I've learned about, uh, putting yourself out there before. We've all gotten burned, you know? I've, uh, I've gotten burned a few times. I've had the rug pulled out from under me a few times. Uh, and that's why I don't stand on rugs anymore. There have been a lot of things that have happened in life, not too recently. Um, things that can be a little earth-shattering, and it feels good to be able to at the end of the day, no matter what happens at work, no matter what happens in personal life, sit down and draw and talk with you guys. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. But don't expect the next video for another week or so. It's coming out, but it, it'll be a minute. And then after that, some point in the future, I have a... Uh, a secret project I've been working on, which, um, is gonna be big, to say the least, but I can't, I can't get into any more of it beyond that, but it's coming, for sure, it's coming. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you all for, uh, liking, and commenting, and subscribing and disliking. Thank you guys for everything, really. I, I get a kick out of all of it. But thank you guys for watching. I don't say that often, but I mean it. I mean it. Thank you for watching. And 
until next time, I guess. Which hopefully will be soon. Bye-bye.